so excited to have Emily back. Vic Fett. So thanks for viewing stuff from this group today, and um, there'll be a link at the bottom so you can see the song for water. So why don't you just tell us about the song for water, you know, how you wrote it, maybe for the songwriters who are listening, maybe some of the process and like what you're thinking. Um, well, for me, uh, songwriting is a way of uh, actually like expressing my like, and uh, in Cool Water is a song that um, I wrote after my grandma's funeral, which was quite painful for me uh, and for like, the whole family, but especially for my cousin that grew up with my grandma. And, uh, because he became an orphan while well, his parents died when he was like six, his mom died. And so we grew up with my grandma, and after that, like when she died, she lost And then he became quite changed, like uh, in some ways. So uh, that was really painful to see. He's fine now. I can't say that, but he, he was uh, when he walked away from the funeral, uh, he was just like walking away. And the song is, is writing, I, I was writing about that, like, he didn't know what to go, I don't know, like, he just walked off and left him. So that's the uh, worst of the song. And, uh, yeah, that was quite fun. And I, and I know as a songwriter myself, it's really difficult sometimes to write from your pain to tell stories about your own life. Yeah. Did you find that difficult at first when you sat down to, to write the song? Um, well, since it wasn't really my experience, it was his experience. The song is about the more from what I think was his point of view. But, uh, um, I don't think he ever heard the song, so it's not like, the, like I know his song's point of view, but uh, yeah. It's probably harder to write it's harder to write. I think a money question, like when you said in this game, like an important question yet to be clear, is which comes first for you? Do you write lyrics and then sit at the piano? Do you sit at the piano and then write lyrics? Or do you play and then write or when you write songs? Yeah. How does it go for you? I play and I write like, like at the same time. Okay. Yeah, like I first probably get some kind of melody at the piano, like, and then I get the words like also straight away, and I'm writing it down, and then I'm writing it down. Like, yeah. Very cool, very cool. Well, um, if you could tell us some of the inspirations you have in music, maybe it's a favorite band that you've had, or what inspires you as a songwriter to, to write? I think that. Um, it's, um, I have quite a few like Swedish artists like Sam Simone and Carmen uh, Lemma and uh, also English like the uh, like, uh, Brian Adams and uh, uh, but I mean uh, so I I have a few people that I inspired by but then uh, what was the question? <laughs> was it like, that was yeah, the perfect answer. Okay. Who inspired you yeah. as an yeah. artist? That's really good. Good um, answer to the question. So, just a real quick last question. What inspires you as an artist? You talked about some of the people. What inspires you? Is it, you talked about maybe pain in somebody else's life. That's one inspiration yeah. that you may have had. Um, what, is, what else inspires you as an artist besides maybe pain? Yeah. Well, I think that's the main thing, really. Like how to express feelings. Like um, since I work as a counselor, I meet a lot of pain all the time, and I kind of need to deal with it somehow. And then, uh, like even you know, when I experience this, like the tsunami, I was scared, but I was seeing pictures on TV, and I, you know, I need to do something with those feelings. So I kind of write a song or do something with the other, you know, bad things happening. That's the way I uh, go through things. Uh, in 
in my mind and I write songs. But then also I write songs about God, quite a lot. And, uh, and that's, that's different things. That is more like a, a version of spending time with God when he gives me words. And, and that, that is my experience. Like in relationships, that's the way I express my thoughts. So, I just want to say thank you, Emily, and thank you, Agnes, for doing the interview. I um, just want to encourage you to look at all the other videos on Stockholm's Groove and the bands that Evelina mentioned. I'll put a link at the bottom. Once again, thank you for viewing Stockholm's Groove, and thank you, Evelina, for your time. Thanks, Agnes. Thanks. Okay.